how other players view and treat rookies in the NBA as you try to find your place in the league. Uh, how, how do they, opposing players in particular, how do they treat you? How do they test you on the floor? How do they talk to you? I think I've been in different situations where, you know, they've kind of known I've been in the league, um, but, you know, once you're on the court, it's different. Um, Physicality-wise, you know, they're physical with you. Um, they'll, they'll say whatever they want to you just because you're a rookie. Uh, you may not get certain calls, things like that. Um, but you kind of got to stand your ground and, and not take it from anybody. I think that's one thing that I learned uh, this season so far. You, you had a little thing with Kyle Lowry at the end of a game? Lowry and Simmons going to be double technicals, and they've both been ejected. Not a huge thing, but you both got ejected. Is that just sort of a rite of passage? I think it's just one of those things where I'm just not going to back down from anybody, um, especially not my first season. I think, uh, you know, it comes with it, uh, but you got to stand your ground. What about you, Lord? What's been your experience with uh, opposing players trying to test you as a rookie? Well, I haven't had too many guys coming at me, like, vocally, but they're definitely trying to test you, like, just trying to punk you, and if the person scores on you, they're going to keep coming at you. LeBron goes right at the rookie. Takes his time and scores. So th physically, or they're just going to attack? Both. Both are a lot bigger guys than I am, especially down in the post. It's different. Yeah, I would say um, not so much vocally. You know, I, they're not really saying that much, but uh, they try to get physical with you because, uh, I mean, they know that it's our first year, you know, we're young. And, um, I mean, you just got to think about it. You know, in our seventh, eighth year in the league, if a rookie's guarding us, you know, we're going to go at him. So it's nothing personal, but it's just, it's just how it goes. And do you feel like if somebody's trying to get physical with you, Donovan, you, you just got to push through it, or you've got to let them know you're there a little bit? I, I love it. You know, I love being like, you know, guys wanting to kind of, welcome you, I guess, to the NBA. You know, I like that challenge. I always love a challenge. So, you know, there have been times where dudes have tried to, you know, post me up or, like, and this is, like, you know, the biggest thing in the league. Like, guys, if you got a small dude on you and you, like, a, a power forward or whatever, like, you're like, baby, like, that's what you hear from the bench all the time. Like, I like that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Just it's competitive and it's fun. But at the same time, like Ben said, like, you got to let them know, like, I'm here. You know, like, I, I don't care. If you're two, 10 years older than me or three, three years, I don't know how many years you got in the league. Like, I'm here and I'm here to play. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. And there'll be games where, you know, sometimes you get the best of the veterans, but you got to remember, like, we played New Orleans. I have 41, right? And the next game, Drew Holiday came and went at me from the from the beginning. Like, just completely went at me. And I had forgot about the 41-point game. I forgot about, and that was like the beginning of the month. And my coach warned me, he said, be ready. Like, this is, he's going to come right at you. He came out and completely killed me the whole game. Like, you know, so you just got to understand that. One, dudes take things personally, you know, and they, they're always ready to challenge